Hello from the Future of Go Summit in Vujen. I'm Tora Grapel, research scientist at DeepMind. I'm here with Michael Redman, Mindan professional. Hello, happy to be here. Michael, that was a pretty exciting game. Very exciting. So what happened there in the top right corner when it all began? Yes, well, this peep that uh, Kotze played um, was a bit unusual in that the usual move would be somewhere on the third line. And so white came all the way here. And if black just simply answers it, this will be a profitable exchange for white. And so uh, although it looks a bit dangerous for white, it's actually a challenge uh, to AlphaGo to uh, start a more complicated sequence here. Right, did AlphaGo accept that challenge? And of course, yes, AlphaGo did accept. And at this point, it's, it looks difficult for black to capture these two stones. Um, but actually, AlphaGo found a very, very elegant way to sort of sidestep that. Um, instead of playing the normal move, which would be this one or this one, um, actually this jump here was a move that was hard for a human player to find, but actually it was very efficient in that if white, um, white actually pushed through here, and after playing this exchange, AlphaGo could extend here, and because of the fact that this Atari is forcing, white cannot actually break through here. Right. And so locally, if white is to play here, then black will be able to squeeze from this side and get a complete squeeze um, using all of these moves as forcing moves to build a strong position here and would still have another squeeze on this side too. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a very elegant sequence for black, um, a sequence where Kwache, um challenged uh, AlphaGo to a complicated uh, situation and AlphaGo um, responded with this elegant move. And actually at this point, uh, Kwache decided that uh, there was no profit in conti con continuing locally, right. and so they switched to another part of the board. So this first exchange here was very interesting. In that way. Beautiful. So a little later in the game, we saw another exciting turning point. What happened, Michael? Well, um, I'd like to compare this with the first game, which was relatively um, simple and straightforward. Whereas in this game, like in the upper side, uh, Kreche made a kind of a challenge uh, to a complicated situation, and AlphaGo very elegantly um, avoided, a, well, settled that shape with this jump here, move 25. And so that was a very elegant solution to the problem there. Uh, and again, on the lower side now, we have a game that is becoming more and more complicated as uh, Kwache creates a situation on the left side also in which there are unsettled groups. And now on the lower side, um, he, uh, Kwache played a, a move that is quite different from the move that I would have chosen. So first I will show you that Kwache played here, which actually created an extremely complicated situation. Um, but I'll show you also the move that I would have chosen, which is this one, which locally it doesn't actually, it would be perfect if it could actually capture the black group. Right. It doesn't work that well locally uh, because white does have to uh, move back here uh, to protect the weakness here. So white will play here. And then black can play th this. And this will capture these stones, but there's still a lot of bad Aji in the corner there. So when white protects here, in order to call this a black territory, Black actually needs another move somewhere around here. Right. In which case, White will have the initiative to maybe move to the upper side of the board or any other part of the board that White chooses to. And so looking at the overall position here, this is actually it looks uh, satisfying for White. And so this is a real uh, possibility that Kwache had. He could have taken this choice. Right, but he chose a different way. He chose a different right. way. I think that uh, signifies that uh, in this game, Kwache sort of had a theme that he wanted to create as complicated a situation as possible just to test the ability of AlphaGo to handle such complicated situations. So in the game, Kwache plays here, right. and the immediate meaning of this move is that it is trying to make uh, pushing through here even more effective than it was um, when I showed you. So uh, black cannot really afford to answer that locally, but will push through here and allow white to take a local profit here. So this corner is, uh, there's still some ways that it can, uh, black can cause problems there, 
but locally it looks like white's going to get some territory in that corner. In return, it's very natural that black will be taking the offensive here in the center of the board um, and taking the offensive against these white stones. And so at this point of the game, um, actually it continued this way, the game becomes very, very complicated in which there are um, unsettled groups, like there's two here, there's two on the left side, and the black group is not settled yet. And this corner, it became a very complicated position, uh, which is called a co. And so there's, at some point in the game, the upper side also became uh, complicated. So we had something like eight groups, uh, of which the life or death was not settled. And so this is much more complicated than you even find in a pro-pro human game. It's um, usually you have a maximum of about four unsettled groups. In this game, there were about eight, which made it a very good test of AlphaGo's skill to handle such a complicated situation. Fascinating. Thank you very much, Michael. Thank you.